Woo, look at that sunset. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Out here, hitting the top water bite for the last half hour of the day. Fall is about here. These fish are busting, edge of the grass, edge of the drops. And we're out here fishing a spook, trying to get on a few. I just caught a big one. We've been out here fishing for a couple hours. I'm out here with Trey Williams. And we've caught a bunch of white bass you're gonna see here in a minute. But look at that sunset. Oh, are they busting? Get it, get it. Oh. Dang. Had to get in on that. They're coming up busting. You guys are gonna see it here in a second. We're fishing a spook in the middle of schooling bass. Let's try and catch them. Right under us. Yeah. All right. You're welcome to come up here too. There he is. Oh, he got off. He got off. One. Feels like a white, white bass. You're welcome to keep these, flame up, take them home. All right. That'd be a lot of meat. Yeah, you just felt like one. There's one. Feels like a white. Imagine that. And it's a white. Pretty fish. Yeah, it is. That's a chunky one. Nothing? They go white. Yeah, I don't think I ever had. Yeah, Redfin's just the brand. Yeah. Huh. That's awesome. Oh, there's a smoke. Okay. Yeah, that's not a white. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Yeah. There we go. On the swim bait. Chasing Chad, he swallowed that. All right. See, you, buddy. They're like right there. There they are. No way. Oh, yes. Oh, I got a real this rod in before it gets tangled. No, you're good. You're good, fish. <laughs> that was a good one, too. Smashed it on top. Wow. 
That'll work. That's a fatty. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Crazy. Come on, busting. Big old fatties. Oh, right here. Cast right here. Just drop it. And just, yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. Got that hydro wave on feeding frenzy. Coming up here, busting. That's a three and a half. So fat. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. You don't want to cast past them. You want to land right on top of them because they only come up for like two seconds. Okay. It's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> Isn't that? That was a big fish. That was a good one. Oh, there they are. You see that movement? Yeah. Swirls? They're about to come up busting right in there somewhere. I bet you. It's almost worth just waiting on them. There they are. Get him, get him, get him. Missed. We both missed them. I'm ready. I got eel grass. Sunglasses on anymore. I don't know why I'm even fishing something besides a spook. I'm not gonna get to him in time. Like 50 foot, 45, 50 foot, or are they just hanging out at the top just waiting? Or is that just that's a little interference there? Okay. That might be some bait. I'm not seeing them like it. we did. That could be behind us. Or... There he is. Oh, dang it. <laughs> they could be down there. There he is. Get him. Oh, shoot. Man. Just reel in real quick. Just reel in. Cast right back there as fast as you can. Go right overhead. That way you go right straight to it. There you go. Perfect. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I see that bass chasing the gizzard shed. Get him. No way. No way. Right there. Yes. That's a spotted bass, Trey. Woo. That's a big spot. That is a big spot. Nice. Chasing right next to the boat, catching them on spooks. That's so awesome. Good one, man. You want to pick with that one? That's a good one. Sweet. That's a good fish, man. That's a two and a half pound spot. Big old spot. It's embarrassing again. That's probably one of the bigger ones I've ever caught. Dude, that's a big spot. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm going something. I hope not be like that. Hey, you just started fishing last year. That's yeah. a good one. You don't catch many two and a half pound spots here on Gunnersville. This video was shot a couple months ago. I forgot to edit it and put it out, but I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast fishing with Trey. It was kind of tough fishing, but we ran into some on crankbaits, and then right in the evening, they came up busting out there deep, caught them on uh, some top water, and uh, we caught them cranking. So that was a blast. We didn't catch a ton of fish, but still a fun outing. Man, big bass coming blowing up out of the water. We had them blown up and they wouldn't bite, but we did catch a few. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I want to share a little something with you. Uh, we were talking about the other day and somebody was asking, like, I just don't know which way to go in, in my life right now. Or you're at a decision point, you don't know which way to go. Or maybe you are feeling anxiety, like you don't know what's next. You don't know what the Lord wants you to do. You don't know... Uh, where to go um, I'm going to read you an answer here that is for all of us uh, John 14 uh, 5 and 6 Thomas said to the Lord Lord we don't know where you are going so how can we know the way Jesus answered I am the way and the truth and the life Jesus is the way guys run to Jesus and seek his face and he will reveal where he wants you to go it says, no one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know, you do know him and have seen him. So, pretty exciting right there. Jesus is the way. 
So you don't need to feel any of those feelings. You need to take some action, run towards Jesus, make your life point towards him, and he will lead your steps. And he will make your path straight. He will make a way for you. And you can have confidence in that. So hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you guys. We're going to get out of here and we're going to catch you on the next episode of Fishing with Norby. See ya.